What is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to sync your Minecraft saves and or server directories straight to Google Drive and across multiple computers. Well, Google Drive will sync it between multiple computers and this will even work between multiple operating systems and you'll still be able to play your games or run your servers if you need to. <clears throat> So the first thing you're going to want is Google Drive, of course. So you're just going to go to the Google Drive page, and if you don't have an account, make one. If you do have one, just go to your drive. And the uh, first thing you're going to need is the Google Drive client. And you get that by going to the Settings button and just clicking Download Drive. Now you're just gonna click download drive and it's available for pretty much every platform <clears throat> and uh, if you have Linux it'll work on Linux this won't but you can get a uh, third-party clients for Linux uh, I'm not gonna go into that because it's not my area of expertise but you can get them they do work it's just not officially supported by Google so you're going to download Drive, you're going to install it, and that will give you, down here in the uh, tray, it'll give you this uh, icon. And uh, also, if you go to My Computer, it'll give you this, pinned into Favorites. This is a physical folder on your C drive. I don't know if you can change which drive it's located on. I don't know. But it'll give you a physical folder that will sync up to your Google Drive account automatically. And the cool thing about it is, when you have it like this, you can just install portable programs in it. Now I say portable because you can't... Well, you can. It's not recommended. But you can install normal programs in here for backup purposes, I guess, but just just for the sake of doing things right, only install portable applications. And what I mean by that is, let me hold on just a second. Most applications that you install on your computer run out of program files and app data and the registry now portable applications only use data stored into the folder where you installed them and anything you install on google drive you need to make sure it's a portable application that doesn't use this that data and all that so while you may be able to change the install directory it doesn't mean you should install it straight into Google Drive so just make sure it's a portable app you can just Google portable apps I'll just show you and uh, this you can get all sorts of things that'll work see you there and uh, yeah so once you get that all set up you can make a Minecraft, I'm going to just show this as an example, you can make a Minecraft folder and then you can install either the jar file version of Minecraft which you'll have to just run and then later on change the directory in in the launcher I think, I can't really remember, I don't actually use this anymore but I, I thought it was cool and a lot of people would find it very useful so this is just an exe version of well portable minecraft just google portable minecraft and something like this will pop up it doesn't really matter which one you use there's a few of them i think but uh first time you run it it will generate folders and stuff that's i'll just show you so th this is actual Minecraft Minecraft running out of Google Drive. And you see this here. This is actually the data folder. 
for it, but that changed into a a sinking symbol or something. And I just closed this. But what that did was show you again there. What it's actually doing is it's syncing to Google Drive what you just changed. So that's perfectly fine if you're playing single player. But if you're playing multiplayer, that's a problem. Because it's eating up your bandwidth and upload speed and it's probably killing your ping. And it's just generally not good. So what, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the system tray and go up here. Uh, it may have changed by the time you watch this video, but it'll be similar. You're going to click on that and go to pause. And what that does is that just stops it from syncing temporarily. And you can play your game without any performance hits. It's on your local hard drive. Works perfectly. Once you get done, just go resume and uh, it'll sync up. You can open it on another computer that has Google Drive client installed. Or you could just, if you didn't want to mess with that, you could just go straight to Google Drive. And you can just download that along with just download the corresponding folders, you know. So, and then you could just run it. And uh, if you use the jar file, that'll work on Linux and Mac and whatever. I don't know what Mac, what the Mac native file is. Windows has EXE. I don't know what Mac is. Maybe they just have the jar file for Minecraft. Don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You can use this with any portable application. Um, yeah, that, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, if I helped you, consider subscribing. There will be more videos to come. That's it. See ya.